Major League Fishing has changed the game again with a revolutionary General Tire Team Series. An exciting new format where 27 three-man teams compete for a top prize of $300,000. We can talk to our partners. You can tell what lures, techniques you're using. Okay, you're on the inside grass line. Yeah. Okay, that's good enough. This is the craziest format ever. Like, there's so much information. It kicks off with a Lucas Oil Qualifier, presented by B&W Trailer Hitches, streaming exclusively on My Outdoor TV. Anytime you can get to championship round, you've had a good week. Trying to hold that trophy up is why I'm here. To make it to the championship round is always a huge feather in your cap. It's an honor to be with a group of anglers that are going to compete today. It's a star-studded field. You make that final round, you know, weight zero, anything can happen. Oh, that hurts. It's winner take all today and let it all hang out on the line. Oh, come on! Gosh, dog it. Please, Lord. Oh, my gosh. Look at that one. Keep them coming. No. <laughs> Major League Fishing. It's the Builder's First Source Patriot Cup from Dallas, Texas. Presented by Guaranteed Rate. Let me tell you what I know about Lake LeBron. Absolutely zero. <laughs> this lake does not have the boat docks like the lakes we've been fishing in previous rounds. It doesn't have the marinas, so guys are going to have to really relate to natural structure. I'm excited. I like, you know, as soon as we dumped in, I saw all this rock. I'm like, man, we are going to put the troll motor on high. Today could be a deal of uh, a riprap because there's plenty of it. But this lake is a lot shallower, probably not as deep, but it's laid out a lot flatter. I feel like in a dirty water lake like this, You've got to find the most consistent water. The water's down some, so I think that's going to play an even bigger factor on finding cover and structure in the water that's got some depth on it. Here we go. We going. Welcome to General Tires Major League Fishing. 24 anglers traveled to Dallas, Texas to compete for the title of Patriot Cup champion. Eight have battled their way to today's final round. Only one will take home the trophy. Let's meet the final eight contenders. Qualifying out of sudden death round one, he finished first, Stephen Browning. With a second place finish, Michael Neal. He finished third, John Cox. And our final qualifier out of sudden death round one, Jeff Sprague. The winner of sudden death round two, Edwin Evers. A six pounder landed him in today's championship round, Wesley Strader. Qualifying with a third place finish, Skeet Reeks. And rounding out today's championship field, James Elam. With the anglers having no idea where they'll be fishing, preparation is paramount. John Cox shares how he plans to deliver a championship performance in today's general tire anywhere as possible. Hey guys, we're here at the 2022 Patriot Cup in Dallas, Texas. Man, I don't have a clue where we're going, but it's the fall of the year. And man, that means the shad are gonna be moving. And these are my two favorite baits I love to throw in the fall of the year. Number one is the Berkeley Fritz side. Uh, man, you can just cover so much water with this thing. Uh, throw it at anything, riprap, wood, anything you can think of. And my second favorite is this Berkeley Cane Walker 110. This one's a little bit smaller than what you guys have had, uh, just came out, uh, but man, it catches them. I'm gonna throw this first thing in the morning, and then when the sun gets really high, I'm gonna look for those white bass schooling out in the middle. I'm gonna throw this in there and try to catch some large mouth underneath it. I don't know where we're going, but with General Tire and Major League Fishing, anywhere is possible, especially with a tire that big. The location of today's competition wasn't revealed to the anglers until they pulled up to the ramp this morning. For more on that, let's go out to Marty Stone for today's Lake Breakdown. Chad, this morning we've done something that's almost impossible to do with this group of anglers. We've brought them to a body of water that no one has any experience with. Levon Lake is east of the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and it's a fairly large lake. The zone consists of 17,300 surface acres, over 83 miles of shoreline. The cover these anglers have got to choose from 
is plentiful, and it starts with the riprap, especially around the bridges and dam area. There's also individual boat ramps. Then there's the standing timber, and that seems to be everywhere in this lake. There's a few marinas, but nowhere near the amount that the anglers have had to choose from in their previous rounds. But here's one thing that's gonna factor into today's competition. There's the shad, the bluegill, and the crayfish. But many years ago, tilapia was introduced in this body of water. And anytime you get a body of water in Texas that's got tilapia, that means you're gonna have some big bass. Other than the few locals in this surrounding area, Lavon Lake is not necessarily on fishermen's radar, but I have a feeling before this championship's done, it will be on the map. We got cypress trees, rocks. Lots of seagulls in this one. Must be a big shad population on this lake. A lot of bait in this lake. Uh, that's what you look for in the fall. That's what I'm really keying in on right here where I'm gonna start. I like to start on something small that I can dissect. May not be as many fish here as there would be in a big creek, but if you can get a bite or two, then you know what to go look for. A lot of times right before these bridges, there's other roads, and um, there's a road here. An old road there, the rock pile right there. I just, just put some marks on it. I mean, I can see there's some bushes in the water, uh, you know, out in the middle of these pockets, where because the, this lake is notorious for getting super, super low. You know, these fish are liable to be in dirt, dirt, shallow water. One of the things that I found over at Louisville the other day is in this stand of timber, these fish were suspended out there, and I caught them on a the square bill. That's definitely something I don't want to pass up today, to die here, you know, fishing some of that timber that's all off the bank quite a long ways. I can see the water's down. And as that water falls, that's that's a pinch point. That's a funnel. This is a big giant flat. So just trying to see if there's a ditch that goes back here to this. I'm gonna go on to the back, at least where I can fish all four corners. And there's the next bridge past it. So then those little sticky deals right there. I mean, that's you won't believe it, but man, I catch a lot of fish just on those types of little deals right there. I'm just kicking around ideas. I'm really thinking this left arm here. The north shore, that that left arm should be calm all the way to the end of it. So that's going to be the main goal: stay out of the wind, stay dry, and uh, hopefully catch some fish. Look at the bait underneath this boat right here. Look at the look at the bait on the depth finder. This could be good or it could be bad. We'll see. Well, we don't know anything about this lake, but I think the world is fixing to learn about Levon today. You'll find expert bass fishing know-how from Mercury MLF Pro Team Anglers at MajorLakeFishing.com backslash Mercury Pro Tactics. General Tire's Major League Fishing is brought to you by Builders First Source, combining to serve you. General Tire delivers. Berkeley, your fish, our science. Wiley X Eyewear, go confidently. And by Kubota. Together, we do more. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing for the Builder's First Source Patriot Cup. Presented by Guaranteed Rate from Dallas, Texas. Oh, libels, you gotta get them out. This is the A team. <laughs> Championship round, ladies and gentlemen. Lake Levon here in the great state of Texas. You know, this is fall, offshore fishing is not that great, so the fish tend to, you know, look for things to set up on the ambush bait, and that's what we're kind of looking for now. We're, so we're gonna start right here around the bridge where there's a little bit of wind current, possibly, and just see if uh, we can get a few key fish in the boat early in the morning. That'll be strong for us. Let's see what you got, Texas. Eight Major League Fishing pros have endured two rounds of stiff competition to earn a shot at winning the Patriot Cup trophy here on Lavon Lake. Today's championship round will consist of three periods. A scorable bass must weigh at least one pound. The angler with the most weight at the end of the day will become the 2022 Patriot Cup champion. The final round begins now. Four, three, two, one. Lines in. It's the Patriot Cup championship round. Let's go. Here we go. This is the ideal place if we're going to shallow crank them. 
I am going to fish today. I just. So you can start when you want to. Okay, I can start whenever I want to you now. Yeah, just go ahead and start. Okay. There he is. One pound, seven ounces. Nice. Way to get it started. That didn't take very long. Rip wrap bass. I wanted everybody to get a few casts in before I made one. Just simply because I didn't want them to think that I was catching them every cast. <laughs> Woo! Leading the derby. So far. I was trying to find an area to start in that has some pockets. It's fall time of the year, and fish should be in pockets, not so much on the main lake. We just don't know if this is a power-driven lake, like a current-generated lake, or, or what. So we're going to roll with it here for just a minute. A lot of bait right here up against the bank. Actually, a bunch flipping right here. Caught me by surprise. One pound, 13 ounces. We're on the board, we're on the board, we're on the board. Edwin Evers has got one fish, one pound, 13 ounces. Nice job, Eddie. There is no water right there. That's crazy. I really thought we'd catch us three or four down that stretch. I mean, just kind of based on the area it is, you know, leading into a creek like this, water being a little lower. Two pounds, 12 ounces. Two twelve. Way to start off championship round right there, my friends. Stephen Browning's got his first fish. Two pound, 12 ounces. Good deal, Lucille. Boy, Stephen's just been catching big ones all week. Seems like every time he catches one, it's a good one. Quality bites. Boy, I thought that one was a great big one when I first got him out of there. The wind just changed directions. Just changed directions. There's the north. On north wind. I had a little south wind going this morning. It's supposed to blow out of a lot of different directions until it really gets to going this afternoon. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, it barely hooked. Ah, there we go. There we go. There's one. Yes, 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 yes. One pound, seven ounces. One seven. Here we go. There are some that live in here. Oh, dude. Two pounds, three ounces. <laughs> two tree. That's a two tree. All right, day one, championship round. But I'm hoping these fish are just going to start coming to it, because the, the rocks are going to start warming up now that they have sun on them. Because I think when we do hit the right stretch, you know, hopefully it'll be, we'll catch them really quick, catch a lot of them. That gummit. I saw the fish on active target too. I wasn't sure what I was looking at. I got a feeling somebody's probably gonna catch a giant today. I hope it's us. I just don't think they're gonna be up super shallow yet. I know there's more one fish sitting in a marina right here. That fish was over deeper water. There was a lot of cover up real shallow and didn't get a bite. And that was the last piece of cover before it got shallow with about five foot of water on it. And there was a fish there. so. If I can just duplicate it now. One bite could be random, two bites is a pattern. Stay on there, sugar. Choked it. Choked it. That's the way you like for them to get it. If they gonna get it, that's the way you want them to get it, right there. One pound, 14 ounces. One 14, good fish right there, God. Little fat, healthy thing. Steven Browning's caught his second fish. He's now four pounds and 10 ounces, first place. No blade and jig catching them. Little isolated tree. Good job, good job. Keep it going now, let's go. Be a bunch of them. Fished against him in both rounds. I figured he was gonna be hard to handle. I'm a big fan of putting your face in the sun instead of letting that sun be behind you when you approach some of this stuff. 
I don't know, I just feel like my shadows sometime maybe will make a fish move and I don't like to go over it. There you go, it's a good tape. on the trailer hook. You believe in that? <laughs> One pound, 11 ounces. Thank you. I knew there had to be another one down there, at least one more. <gasps> Half of us on the board, and I should be on there, too. There's another. That'll make it. Wesley Strader's caught his third fish now. His fish weighed one pound, one ounce. Real oh God, it's a big one. Let's come here. You are barely hooked. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, gosh. I got her. Man, all the hooks fell out. Oh. Yes, yeah, look how long that fish is, would you? Whew. Four pound, two out. That fish was a five, six pounder at one time. That thing is thin. Skeet, I got a score tracker update for you. Great. Edwin Evers just caught his second bass. Weighed four pounds, two ounces. Oh, there's a good one. Golly, bro. Is he leading? He's leading. That puts you in third place. There's one right away, I'm sure. We're in Texas, there's gotta be big ones. Well, one off wood and one off rock. We got a pattern going. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing. Got her. Man, all the hooks fell out. Oh, yes, look how long that fish is, would you? The final eight contenders are on Lavon Lake, and Edwin Evers has kicked off the championship round with a 4-2 Berkeley Big Bass. Catching the first bass of any size is a huge step toward decoding the ever-changing character of a lake. However, today's conditions are in rare form. Boy, they weren't kidding. That wind really picked up. There comes that wind. Just like you flipped a switch, too. That's crazy. That's crazy. While Wesley Strader ponders on the mystery of wind, let's check in with Marty Stone for today's Wiley X Eyewear, more than meets the eye. Lavon Lake is down three and a half foot, and it's going to present some challenges for these anglers, especially with these frontal conditions. There's a lot of questions these anglers are going to have to ask, but the key is, is getting that first bite. If they choose a moving bait first thing this morning with these cooler water temps, they run the risk of fishing right through an area that could possibly be productive. If they choose a flipping bait, flipping and pitching in a standing timber, it could take forever to find the right location. So that in itself is a challenge. And there's a lot of water for these anglers to cover, so they're gonna have to narrow down their search. But one thing to always remember in the fall of the year, normally bait fish are condensed in small areas, and that puts bass in small areas. If an angler can just get a bite, get that first key to the puzzle, he could land in an area that could be super productive because everything's condensed right now. Dude, it's gonna blow like that. This lake's gonna shrink down a lot. <laughs> Yikes. I mean, this is just textbook, textbook fishing here, you know? I mean, that's a lake's down real low, back of the creek. They're gonna pull up on the first little old piece of cover that they can find. Decent looking creek. We're gonna have to crank that timber. It's spinner bait. Cannot believe there's not a fish there. Oh, fish landed violation, two minute penalty. Two pounds, 11 ounces. All right. Hey. I'm in a fish landing violation, so I'm gonna talk to you for just a second. I've been throwing a moving bait all morning. I've had one bite that I know of, and I pick up a top water, a buzz bait, 
make two or three casts with it, almost three pounds worth right there. Adjustments, I'm not sure that's the right adjustment yet. I'm gonna put this fish back. But the adjustment, that's what, that's what does it. So, I mean, you saw it for yourself. I think this 3 8 is the deal. I think we're gonna keep it in our hand, wind it around, but I do feel like we're probably gonna pick that square bill up, sling it around some of this stuff here in a bit, too. That's what they do to a buzz bait in Texas. They'll bend them. And that's just a little guy, that's a three pounder. Imagine a six, seven pounder, eight pounder. A lot of fun, but they'll tear up your tackle. Buy more than one. Always buy more than one. I wanna go back over there, but I don't wanna give up on a chance to catch one around one of these marinas either. We we'll hit these two stumps, we're gonna motor out of here. That is so strange. He was between them. I'm begging. Stay on, baby. Barely hooked. Two pounds, one ounce. Guys, I'll take it. Two pounds, eight ounces. Two eight. Good start. James Elam's got his first fish, two pound, eight ounce bass. Edwin Evers just got a two pound, one ounce. He's up to eight pounds, zero ounces. I mean, three in a row, just bam, bam, bam. All right, let's move on. Let's go behind that marina to try it. Nobody's lighting it up, still need to try stuff. Michael Neal's the only guy not on the board. Yeah, but just wait till he does get on the board. Dad, gum it. All right, I know what I'm gonna do now. We got a pattern going, we got main lake, rock, back of a pocket. Not on anything between two stumps. Probably what I need to do is like start running these pockets that I was talking about this morning, about running in the back ends of these little, just those little guts. If I can find me a toilet. I have caught them on a washing machine one time. Hadn't done that well on toilets. Got him. Got leak. One pound, 14 now. Every neighbor just caught his fourth fish. He's now at nine pounds and 14 ounces. One of the big ones right now, like a six or seven would be good. Golly. Two pounds, 10 ounces. I know what to do. We know what to do, guys. Keep it in your hand. Keep it in your hand. Just like I said, you got to get in a good rhythm, you know? Oh, gosh. He hammered it. I mean, Edwin got lucky and caught a full pounder. He did. So don't be telling me he's in the rhythm. I'm in the rhythm. He's got 914. Yeah. Steven's in the rhythm and going to catch him with the seven four. You're two pounds, 10 ounces back. See what I mean? That ain't no rhythm. Come on. The wind's blowing in on those back ones. I want to go hit those. Gonna pull them fish out to the edge of it, maybe. All right, let's go. We need to be cranking some main rock. Well, this lake may not be the rock deal. Maybe something else. Michael caught one yet? No, sir, not yet. Oh, but watch out when he does. I can catch one. Thought I was hung, but I did catch one. One pound, eight ounces. Pound there. All right. Same pattern. It was out a little deeper. That fish was probably nine or 10 feet, but it's gonna keep fishing these trees. Little nugget right there. One pound, three ounces. Right. Made another little move, guys. Got around the marina. Made about four or five stalls and caught one. 
He hasn't made one. Stay down. Three pounds, 13 ounces. 313. Nice fish. Nice little Texas bass. That'll put us back in the game. James Zealand was caught a three pound, 13 ounce bass. Puts him in second place. I need to catch me a three pounder, six pounder. We got the right bait. We got to catch a lot more. Let's get that money. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing for the Builder's First Source Patriot Cup. Presented by Guaranteed Rate from Dallas, Texas. One pound, five ounces. One pound, 10 ounces. Just gotta get around the fish and you can catch them. It's not that complicated. That fish was hanging on a crossbar. That's good. A second scorable bass for Jeff Sprague has provided new information and pushed him into fourth place. James Elam has shot up to second after landing a 313, putting him less than three pounds off the lead. Patterns are starting to develop on Levon Lake, and Michael Neal's second bass has created a new sense of urgency among his competitors. Michael's one of those guys you don't want to catch a score of a fish, because once he gets them figured out and dialed in, he's like the most dangerous man on the planet. I got a bait they'll bite and know what kind of cover they're on. It's just up to me to put them in the boat now. This is the time the guys are starting to figure them out. This sucker's flat, dude. It's just laid out flat. He's got to be a break or something that's got him on it. One of these sand breaks, there's little drops. God dang it, I knew it. I was like, knew it. Knew there was gonna be one there. How much time's left? 35 minutes. See how much current's rolling through here. Well, we're zigging and zagging. Well, we should be zagging and zigging. You're in fourth place, four pounds, 11 ounces out of the lead. Yeah, that's one bite. There's big ones here. Still one bite if you can get lucky enough to catch a big one. Sixth is a lot better than eighth. Got get up in here. Thank you, Lord. Two pounds, six ounces. Two six. Good chunks, man. Good chunks. We gonna get them. We gonna get them. Might have been a whole school of them right there. What you think? Wow, they're catching good ones. This is where it can all go down so quick. There we go. There we go. There we go. One pound, six ounces. One six, there we go. It's been slow, but the wind kind of laid down. We're back where we started. I'm pretty pumped up. That was like third cast right here. John Cox just caught his second bass, weighed one pound, six ounces. Moved him to seventh place with two pounds, 13 ounces, dropping you down to eight. Did you enjoy that? Well, you can't go down any farther. Did you enjoy that? Is that not what I asked you? No, Did you no. enjoy telling me that? Nope. All right, good answer. I mean, you just have to. If you're gonna beat this crew, you've got to capitalize on every bite. One pound, nine ounces. Uh-oh. I said we needed three before the period's over with. We got one out of the way, we need two more. Somehow, some way, this looks like a good pocket. A really good pocket. There we go, big it. Yes. 
on the wood. It's a good one. One pound, 12 ounces. On 12. Skinny. Two pounds, six ounces. All right, two and a half. Just getting around a few of them guys in some of these stalls, which is a good, good thing. The structure right on the insides of the, right inside the mouths of these pockets is ideal. Jay Sprague just caught a two pound, six ounce fish. He's now at nine pounds and two ounces, two ounces behind him. He beat us to it. Not much room between those floats and the sides. No, the there's not. They seem to be out there on the ends of them. Maybe. I think it was Liam, there's just. Get up in here. Maybe a bunch of them on that dude. Yeah. Two pounds, 14 ounces. 14. Good average, man. I mean, these are some chunks, too. I mean, some chunks. Let's get us another one, guys. Let's get us another one. I would just about bet that that's what he's doing. He's on a flat, fishing wood, and he ain't getting many bites, but when he gets one, it's a decent one. Oh, just fishing the back of that pocket. I, I'd kill my entire 20 minutes, and I just, I'm not convinced that's where they're at yet. I'm putting myself above average right now, folks. There's just something about that tree that looked, just looked really, really good. Maybe another one in there on it. See if we can drop another one. If we can drop about a five or six pounder on them before this period's over with, that's where you need them, man. He's got them dialed in. I'm feeling this one now. I'm feeling this one big time. There you go. Yeah. Stay on. Yep. Hold it there, man. Easy, baby. Come on, Troy. One pound, 11 ounces. 111. 111. Knock him out. Knock him out, John. Knock him out. Stephen Browning's got his sixth fish. Whoa. 14 pounds, three ounces. <laughs> I've had bites everywhere on this lake. I, I haven't got it dialed into something. I just want to keep a real nice rhythm, man. You, and, and that's what you want to do. I mean, dang, dude, it's a game, you know? I mean, you, you know what everybody has. It's a game, and you want to. You want to be that guy that's putting the pressure on everybody instead of that pressure being put on you. Just under two minutes. I hope it makes it. One pound, two ounces. One bite. That's exactly how I want to end a period. Eight, seven, six. It's going well. Five, four. Three, two, one. Lines out. You know, kind of got off to a good start and uh, kind of kept the ball rolling, and that's that's what we needed to do. Man, we started off really, really strong. I just couldn't keep that momentum going. We're doing the right stuff. Probably need to find better areas. I'm debating. I'm curious if fish are way back in this timber more, or are they more main leg, deeper water. We're going to set it, get on that Lorenz and that chip, and we're going to look and see what we can find. You know, we went from absolutely nothing, you know, moved up there pretty quick, 10 plus pounds in the in the first period. You know, we still got a little work to do. Browning's on him pretty well. I mean, he's he's hot and heavy, but I really feel like if we bear down and do the right things and make some right decisions, um, we have an opportunity at this cup, and that would mean a tremendous amount to me. So I just got to keep the foot on the gas, man. I just got to keep the foot on the gas. Keep rolling. We're gonna come back in here, kind of pick up where we left off. Just kind of, just go fishing. I mean, let's have fun. Let's go fishing. Let's win this thing. General Tires Major League Fishing is brought to you by B&W Trailer Hitches, Towing Adventure, Yeti, built for the wild, Lucas Oil, keep that engine alive, Mercury Marine. Go boldly. And by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Going into that first period break, 
I was feeling really good. Had a lot of momentum with me because we had just pulled into that marina and in the last 30 minutes, I put four or five scoreable bass on the score tracker and shot way up the leaderboard really fast. And I had the confidence that what I was doing would only be stronger as the sun got higher in the sky. Well, going into the break, I'm a little behind. I haven't really keyed in on anything. You're always trying to search for something that, you know, you can keep putting fish in the boat, you know, throughout the day. And I wasn't really liking what I was seeing. I was a little unsure of what I wanted to do at the break. I was really just going to go fish trees. That was all I wanted to do, just find the steeper banks, stay on those. The wind really died down at the end of the first period, so I, I changed up some baits. Still going to roll with what I got going into the second period. Still trying to be relaxed and carefree. The worst thing you can do is get up tight in these events, because then, then when you get up tight, you start making bad decisions. And I was just trying to, you know, just kind of just be relaxed and just go with the flow. I think I had like a four pound lead. It was one of those deals where you can always sense that the guys that are that have confidence and, and are on a roll. And I think that they sense that. They want that juju you got going. All right, thank you. That's all I needed right there. <laughs> That's all. That's all I needed. Whoa, Whoa, look, look at that, that man. <laughs> Weigh that one, Jody. Oh, son, watch out. It's coming now. <laughs> I feel the power. <laughs> After that not-so-sacred ceremony, Wesley Strader is believing in a miraculous second period. The Puma, Stephen Browning, holds the lead. He's our builder's first source, Angler One. However, Jeff Sprague's five fish revival at the end of period one has proven it won't take a miracle to run down the Puma. Still anybody's in it for sure. I just wanna go out there and try and beat the bark off as many trees as I can find and hopefully the wind will start blowing back a little bit and push some of this bait onto the bank and get the fish more active. There's a possibility some of these fish can move in the timber, so I'm gonna keep checking that. I'm going to go hit a couple new creeks and uh, just try to focus on the rock. The wind is laid down, though, so I think the fishing's going to get tougher. Hopefully, we can ease on up there and get us another bite or two and kind of put the pressure back on these boys. You know, put it on them. They can feel it. It's championship round. Everything's on the line. I've got one area that I feel like we can catch them out of, and if, if we get the right bites and they continue to do what they're doing, then obviously I feel like we can have a good shot at this thing. Five, four. Three, two, one, go. Don't leave any stone unturned. What's that saying? You know what it is. You know what it is. This is where experience in Texas, when the water's down like this, comes in handy. Guess what, Wesley has pretty much no experience doing in Texas when the water's down like this. Bass fishing. Stay on there, bass. Stay on there. We'll get in the boat. Stay on there, stay on there, stay on One pound, 12 ounce. Honestly, I think the sun getting higher in the sky It'll probably just get better, hopefully. Edwin already caught a fish this period. Golly. Move Jeff into second with 11 pounds, 10 ounces, 2 pounds, 9 ounces behind Stephen Browning. One of our guys right around the corner from us, so. I picked this half ounce back up. I like the half ounce better. Probably not a bad idea on this kind of stuff. pounds, five ounces. Score tracker update. You're still in first. He versus is in second with 13 pounds, 15 ounces. He catching another big one? Four ounces behind you. He got a two, five. Well, he's caught several fish this period then, eh? Kind of got a feeling they're back right back there. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to make one more pass right down through there. Oh, come on, ramp. There's shad on it. Come on. There we go. Oh, gosh, barely hooked. Oh, come on. Tell me. 
Come on, baby. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Right on the end of the ramp. One pound, four ounces. One four. There we go. Man, maybe we can do the boat ramp thing. That'd be great. All right. One pound, 11 ounces. One 11. One pound, 11 ounces. All right, black spots on that joker. Oh, I know you didn't get to zoom in, but we got to catch bass, guys. I put you at three pounds, four ounces out of the lead. You catch a big one doing this. And it catch as many as you can catch, as quick as we can catch them. Now you ain't getting a whole crazy amount of bites. Oh my gosh, there's schools in right here. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Did you see that big old sucker come up after that minna? What? I'm gonna come up with one of those in a minute, and it's gonna be a full growed one. I was thinking five pounder out of all that right there, man. It just looked like it had a five pounder swimming around in there. There's some fish in there. It's big, whatever it is. It is a bass. A good one. Well, I got him. A little flat-sided square bill crankbait. A few more of them be real good shape. Four pounds, one ounce. Four pounder. That's what it takes to catch up. Michael Neal caught a four pound, one ounce fish, three pounds and 12 ounces behind you. It's gonna be close today. It'll be real close. Dadgummit. Let's go. This ain't it. You need seven pounds, zero ounces to take the lead. Halfway there. Take a little bit of luck. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing. Jeff Sprague is moving up the score tracker, and the favorite fishing overview of the day shows where it's all going down. One pound, 10 ounces. That's a football. Look, just a solid chunk. <clears throat> Jeff Sprague just now 13 pounds and nine ounces and third. Oh, Sprague's on him. Four pounds, one ounce. Four pounder. That's what it takes to catch up. Period two is underway and Michael Neal just put himself four pounds closer to the top of the score tracker. It's the championship round, and confidence is growing on Levon Lake. Jeff Sprague's marina continues to produce, and Edwin Evers has landed two scorable bass, putting both anglers less than a pound from overtaking Stephen Browning. Well, I took Browning's mojo, but it didn't come out, it didn't go back to me. Need a bite. Need a bite to kind of get out of this funk. That's a bite right there. That's a, it's gonna be a keeper. Got him. Yes, sir. -y. Oh, shaky head. Edwin Evers, he just moved into first place with 16 pounds, nine ounces. How big was the last one he caught? Two pounds, 10 ounces. And he's got something figured out, because he's catching them regularly. We be need one right now. Gang, I mean big time. Well, the good news is, I can't finish lower than eight this tournament. Is that a bass? Is that a bass? I caught a bass! I did, I did, I did! Two pounds, seven ounces. I caught one. I'm still in last place. But I caught one! Ha! That little row of trees right there looked really good, and those back there looked really good. I never got a bite off of either one of them. That lets me know you're more apt to get a bit, get bit out there on the main drag instead of back in here in these creeks. So we're gonna keep running the main drag stuff. 
with that last bass that brought your total to four pounds and ten ounces. Yeah. As you sitting in sixth place. No way! I moved up two spots. Woo -hoo -hoo. I just want to get, I want to get, you know, just a bite or two, just so I can, you know, be like, okay, there's some fish in this area, I and mean, we can grind on them. I think a lot of the fish are not up real shallow because these lakes are drawing down, but and the bait doesn't seem to be up there. It's close to the bank, but it's not up knee deep. So I'm just going to keep trying to find whatever kind of cover, if it's rock, trees, laydowns, bushes, whatever, that's really close to some deep water, and just keep running that. That's all I know to do at this point. There we go. Boy, he didn't do anything, did he? Two pounds, four ounces. Oh, thank you, Lord. We just needed that one, guys. Get, get going. I mean, get going. Thank you, Lord. Slow down, Stephen. Slow down. He's two ounces behind Edward. Come on, guys. Come here. Come here. Three pounds, 11 ounces. Thank you, sir. That's what we need right there, boys and girls. Get on back in there, girl. Thank you, Lord. Man, ain't that weird? I mean, think about how much of the good stuff we've fished. No bites. You come out here and you fish some old bunk stuff. Two good ones. Browning just caught a 311, took the lead. Jeez, them guys are around them. So they're biting. We just got to figure out where they're at. Man, I don't know what they're doing to catch them, but I'd like to know. Nice, 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 nice. That helps. A couple of good ones. Get right back in the ball game. They ain't on all these ducks, that's for sure. But they never are. It's something special about them, usually. Fish ate it. Eat the bait, great. Maybe you need to make multiple casts, but that dude right there was the first cast and had it down to his goozle. You need two pounds and nine ounces to move into fifth. Breaking my heart. Yeah, it is. On the bank. With a big old gizzard tail sticking out of his throat. Wait till you see this. Look at that big old fork tail down there. Look at that belly. Woo! Looks like John Cox. Two pounds, ten ounces. Two ten. A fat dude. Michael Skeet Reese caught a two pound, ten ounce bass. He's now in fifth, moving you down to sixth. All right, I'm gonna move on somewhere. You got him by one ounce. <laughs> it's not eating it very good. Edwin got off to a good start in the last period, and then kind of stopped on us. So maybe he'll stop in a minute, and we'll keep going. Baby. I love bass fishing. I just love it. Man, we've got conditions that have completely changed. I don't have any wind, so I picked up the old Berkeley hit worm shake again. Oh, I know I'm ugly, but get in there. Yes. Three pounds, 14 ounces. Three, 14. We're getting somewhere. These fish are long, aren't they? Thank you, buddy. <laughs> They're going back and forth. Edwin Evers caught a three pound, 14 ounce bass. He now is back in the lead with 20 pounds, seven ounces. Stephen Browning has 20 pounds, two ounces. Dang, they're biting. We gotta, fi we gotta find some other water or something. I wonder if they're cranking them out of the timber. I see another one moving around up there on my active target. Just keeping pace with them, man, you know? I mean, the deal is you don't want them, don't want them to jump out there and get away from you. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing for the Builder's First Source Patriot Cup, presented by Guaranteed Rate from Dallas, Texas. 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I bet we ain't two ounces behind ever now. Yes! Three pounds, 11 ounces. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. These fish are long, aren't they? Thank you, buddy. Edwin got off to a good start in the last period and then kind of stopped on us, so maybe he'll stop in a minute and we'll keep going. Edwin Evers has reclaimed the lead, and Stephen Browning has picked back up where he left off in period one. Although hard cover has been the key on Levon Lake, both anglers are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with entirely different techniques. Marty Stone breaks it down in today's six-hour Success in Sight. We've got us an old-fashioned Texas shootout today in this championship round. We've got two gunslingers, one from Oklahoma, the other from Arkansas, Stephen Browning and Edwin Evers. Browning is taking the pattern that he discovered in the first period and is expanding on it. The quantity of bites is declining a little bit, but the quality is definitely there. He's concentrating on main lake drains, at least that's what they call them here in Texas. Other parts of the country, it would be creeks or ditches. He's using a vibrating jig, and oftentimes on lakes like this, when the water's drawn down, the shad and the bluegill will be condensed in the area, and the bass are right behind him. And then in between each one of these drains, ever so often there's a piece of isolated timber out on the point. Edwin Evers, on the other hand, first thing, second period, he went to the dam area. And right there where the dam meets the regular part of the bank, there was a rock transition and caught several key scorable bass throwing a square bill crankbait. That's when the light bulb went off with the Evers. And then using the shaky head, he's moving to the individual boat ramps that are all throughout this lake. He now realizes the fish on Lebon Lake are on the rocky isolated structures. Both these anglers have now figured out a pattern that makes this lake a lot more manageable. And it looks like at the end of the day, the quickest to draw will be the one that wins. We need to have another 15, 18 pound, period. Maybe I try that point right there. You'd think with the color of this water, it'd be jammed right up on the bank, you know, close. Oh, that was a fish. Dang it. I think I hit, I snagged him. Oh, dang it, wind. And the wind certainly came back. That's the only bad thing about this little one, man. You can, it does not like the wind. There he is. All right, we got the right deal going. Two pounds, five ounces. All right. Two five. A little fat chunk. All right. Two pounds, three ounces. Two three. We're gonna catch them out of the timber. The big trees, not the little ones. The most shade. Stay, stay, stay. Ah, dang it, Skeet, that's a fish landing violation. Two minute penalty. I got it. Two pounds, two ounces. Doo -doo. All right, two minute penalty for a two two. Triple twos. Skeet Reese just caught a two pound, two ounce. He's now in fifth place, nine pounds and six ounces. You're four pounds, six ounces out of the lead. I think that's four fish out of trees in this period. I'm showing up. I'm showing up late, but I'm showing up. How much am I out of six? A scoreable bass will put you in fifth. They are not on these sailboat slips. Gosh, dog it. I say that, and there goes one right there. Dang. Big one. Barely hooked. Oh, gosh, come on, baby dog. I don't want to put too much heat on it. It's just barely hooked. Got her. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Boom! 
Edwin Evers just caught a four pound, 11 ounce bass. Of course he did. I bet they're catching them the same way in the timber. Four eleven. We'll just call that the four pound boat ramp right there. Come on, big six. Come on. Three pounds, zero ounces. Three. I busted the three, baby. <laughs> Woo. Berkeley stunner right there. Three pounds, 10 ounces. Get you some chunks. Yes. Well, he's got something figured out. Now Edmund's on a roll. He's not one you want to give a lead to like that. He's pretty good at finishing. Gives you 28 pounds, 12 ounces, eight pounds, 10 ounce lead. Big ones, too, man. That's, that's what stinks about it. When he catches one, it's a freaking three or four pounder. Come on, fish. General Tire's Major League Fishing is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Squincher, hydration that works. Favorite fishing, the future of fishing. Toyota, let's go places. And by Toro, count on it. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing for the Builder's First Source Patriot Cup. Presented by Guaranteed Rate from Dallas, Texas. Oh dang, look, it's getting good now, boys. Boy, that's a good one there. Oh. Four pounds, one ounce. Four, one, baby. Yes! With a 24-pound mountain above him, John Cox is waiting for the other shoe to drop in today's championship round. Edwin Evers is on top and continues to build his lead on the boat ramps of Levon Lake. The three-time cup champion just landed a four-pound, 11-ounce Berkeley Big Bass, giving Edwin an over eight-pound lead over Stephen Browning. Need to get enough to get close to him, you know? You don't want to go into the third period eight pounds behind or whatever we are behind. Uh, they're just, they found an area that's got a lot of fish in it. I don't know that they're necessarily just doing one thing. How am I not getting bit on any of this stuff? That's what I want to know. God. Yeah! Keep them coming! Keep them coming! Woo! Three pounds, six ounces. <laughs> I love it. Three, six. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Michael Skeet Reese has caught a three pound, six ounce bass. He's now in third place with 17 pounds, 12 ounces. Skeet found him some, too. You mark my words, I bet Skeet's on the dam. God. There's no in between on my calves either. I'm too far to the left or way too far right. If it was easy, man, they'd be lined up 10 deep trying to get in here. <laughs> It might start getting good. <laughs> Stay over here. Oh, gosh, that's a better one than I thought. Yes. One pound, 10 ounces. One, 10. All right. See that? Look how clean that fish is. 
Way better looking than other fish. I think they're coming in up from the deep water finally. I'm trying to get in the shade on some of that wood. Oh, that's probably what the guys have been blasting them on. Jeez. Two pounds, 12 out. Two, 12 of meat. Thank you, buddy. I'm not doing something right, and I don't know what I ain't doing right. That's that's the harsh. That's the thing about this game. It's like, I don't know if I went down a rabbit hole doing this. And, but this ain't many things you can do with the wind blowing as hard as it is, you know? I wonder if Wesley's going to go over there and, sh and rub on Edwin's head. That's what I want to know. Wesley done got that crap all over me. One pound, 15 ounces. Mm. Jeff Sprague just caught his 10th bass, weighed one pound, 15 ounces. Moved him back into third place. <laughs> Come on. Come on, two good ones right here. Big. Oh, God, please. Oh, God, don't do that. I mean, it's a freaking big one, too. Go over and get on him, son. Don't let him get off. Oh, please, Lord. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Stay quick. quick. Just quit shaking, buddy. Quit shaking. Quit shaking. Get you some of that. Three pounds, one ounce. Three more. Dang. That was, was kind of kind of like uh, kind of like crazy. <laughs> How about that? Stephen Browning's caught his ninth fish, weighed three pounds, one ounce, giving him 23 pounds and three ounces. How much time I got? Two minutes. <clears throat> Golly. Three pounds, zero ounces. Chunky dunkers. Bad thing, there's your 311 and 310s and threes this and that. And we'll take it though. We'll take it. Don't complain, son. Don't complain. You said you needed two bikes and you got them. 30 seconds. How big was it? Three pounds, zero ounces. She now has 26 pounds, three ounces. Twenty seconds. Oh, come on, baby, weigh a pound. Weigh a pound, weigh a pound, weigh a pound. One pound, one ounce. Sweet. Yes, 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 yes. Time up. Time's up. That was an old gorilla trying to jump on our back. At least we beat him down just, just a little bit. Got closer. No, I want to go do in the third pier. I just need to find good areas. This is not a good area. Well, that was a uh, little rally back. That was good. Still off the pace. Edwin's got the bite figured out. He's still running. I mean, Edwin had a great period. You can't do anything but take, I mean, you can't take anything away from him. We had a good one. He just had a great one, so. Uh, we're going to battle it out. I can guarantee you he's not quitting anytime soon. We got to come back out here firing at him, man. Got to come back out here firing at him. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing for the Builder's First Source Patriot Cup, presented by Guaranteed Rate from Dallas, Texas. Eight pros are gearing up for the third and final period of the championship round, and all eyes are on the top two anglers. I don't know where the mojo went, because it didn't go to me. Go find Edwin, go rub on him. <laughs> <laughs> After a breakaway performance toward the end of period two, Edwin Evers and Stephen Browning have separated themselves from the rest of the field by nearly 15 pounds. We've seen waves of momentum play a strong role in today's championship round, and Skeet Reese is riding his own wave into the final period. For more on that, let's go out to Marty Stone for today's Yeti Cooler Talk. The first period for you was not that impressive. That's probably the understatement of the day, but you made a nice move the second period. I did. <laughs> was, yeah, that first, uh, that first period did not go how I wanted it to go. The first stop, I caught a two-pounder. I was like, all right, let's just continue on from what we've done the last couple of days out on the water. And 
and it didn't happen. I'm like, oh man, and then the guy at score trackers, it's typical, dunk, 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 dunk. So it was a little frustrating when you know guys are whacking them and I'm not, so I just knew that whatever I was doing, I had to leave that and go try and find something else. You had the second best period of anybody in the second period with the exception of Edwin Evers. This lake's got a big fish feel to it, though. Can you run him down? It's possible. I mean, I, I don't like the gap I have right now behind him, and obviously Edwin's one that you just don't want to give up a lead to, because once he gets dialed in, he's a tough man to beat. But I would like to kick him down a notch and somehow just come across a you know great spot that I can go catch 20 pounds real quick and make him at least sweat and have some fun doing it. Skeet Reese caught fire at second period. He's got a little work to do to catch Edwin Evers, but if anybody can run him down, it'll be Reese. Catch 45 pounds this period. That's the game plan. I need to go somewhere where it's been protected, protected from the wind. So I think the clearer water is just the better deal. Kind of stay in that green water. When it starts getting a little brown, I can't get bit. But if it's green, I can get a bite. So We've had a few missed opportunities, but that's just fishing. we got to put our head down and grind and make something happen. We're going to look at some new water, fish some older water. 25 pounds. Three, two, one, you can go. Here we go. Third peak. I'm torn on whether you know wind side, calm side, because that that back of that one creek, I caught one in the wind, and then the others were on calm rock like this. And they have to go the next, and Sprague's claim stakes on this one. Man, there should be a bass right in there. So let me know if Sprague catches one here pretty quick. A little quicker start than we had it in that last period. This water right here is still not as clear as we need. It's supposed to be a three pounder right here. Or that one. One pound, 11 ounces. I'm gonna call a little one, but we'll take it. 111. Yes. Skeet Reese just caught a one pound 11. He's at 19 pounds and seven ounces now. Ah, oh, dang it. It's a big one. That last cast, I could see all the bait. I landed and my bait hit the water, the old school of shad junk. Need 10 more of those real quick. I mean, there are some shad in this pocket right here. Come on, fish, y'all be here for us now. Be here. Oh. Two pounds, 11 ounces. When I saw a fish boil as I looked back, and I didn't know if it was the fish that hit my bait, or is there another one there? So I'll take that one. Speed's caught another fish, a two pound, 11 ounce bass. He's now in third. He's within 10 pounds, seven ounces of taking the lead. Uh-oh. I'm gonna make Edwin sweat anyways. I don't remember if I caught one here or if they all came on that other one. I felt like I caught one here. Come on, Bass, humor me one time. I think I just had a bite. I think it's... That hurt. I can't believe we can't get no bites. It's, it's mind boggling. <laughs> I mean, you look how good he's got it. I mean, just freaking choked it. Freaking choked it, man. Three pounds, one ounce. Three of them to death, baby. Just three of them to death. Two at a time. I would think there'd be one on this corner in this. I'm hoping there is, anyhow. Mm-hmm. Open up. Not quite three. Well, it may be a three. 
three pounds, one ounce. <laughs> I mean, just three, three, three. I'm gonna catch me a 10 before the day's over with. There's another one. Come on up in here. Come on up in here and let's go. I mean, choking it out in the world. You missed that one out there, man. He's not three, but boom. He's a one, 11. Two pounds, one ounce. I'll take two and one. Here we go. Now all you gotta do is just out fishing the rest of the day, Buck. Plain and simple math. Just out fishing the rest of the day. Stephen Browning has moved into the lead. Wow. He caught three back to back. Oh, oh, oh. Woo! Dang. Well, I throwed him his mojo back. He got it. You're one pound, 13 ounces behind him. I'm in second? Yes, sir. Find you about two or three more places like that. We're going to be going places, my friends. Going to be going places. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing for the Builder's First Source Patriot Cup, presented by Guaranteed Rate from Dallas, Texas. Two pounds, three ounces. Two, three. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Stephen Browning caught another fish, weighed two pounds, three ounces. OK, slow it down, Edwin. Let's make things happen. 10 pounds away, man. I feel like if I can catch me about 10 more pounds, we're going to have a dang good shot at winning this thing. The championship is on the line and Stephen Browning has his eyes fixed on the Patriot Cup trophy. The Puma has put four quality bass on the score tracker, giving him a four pound lead over Edwin Evers. Both anglers have dialed into a consistent pattern on Levon Lake, but only one of these pros will leave Texas as the Patriot Cup champion. Simple math. Mike, Miss Hensley's third grade class. I got more apples than you do at the end of the day. We win. Pull the head of Edwin. I'd love to see the look on Edwin's face right now. Stay on there. Please stay on there. Please stay on there. Get me right at the boat. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Two pounds, six ounces. I mean, if we're going blind to a lake, we've probably never been to, any of us. I mean, guys are catching him pretty good. How far behind am I? He's got 36 pounds, nine ounces. Your fish gave you 34 pounds, 15 ounces. You're one pound, 10 ounces behind him. Got him. Mm. That may be the most important one pounder we catch out all day. <laughs> One pound, six ounces. All right. <laughs> wow. Those guys just, they got to figure it out. If we can go down right here, it's going to be pretty crazy. Come on, Blazer Jig. Let's go, buddy. Come on, man. Bring this thing home. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. I better lose my drag. I haven't retied. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come here. Look at that. He didn't even want to eat it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at that one there. Look at that. You know, that's what we talked about all week is that rod. That is an awesome crankbait, the Fritz side. But this Veritas medium heavy winch rod, that is why you can, I mean, you just hook them on the outside all the time. Four pounds, 15 ounces. 415, almost a five pounder. Look how healthy that guy is. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, let's keep going. You never know. It can happen quick. John Cost caught his sixth fish, weighed four pounds, 15 ounces. He now has 12 pounds, two of them. Stay on their fish. Golly, stay on their fish. Come on, baby. It's a good one. Oh God, it was a giant. Six, seven pounder, guys. Fishing a lake that's got quality fish in it. Dead gum two cast, and 
make up a lot of ground in a hurry. I'm just gonna ease around the corner. There's another little long pocket around the corner here. Let's see if we can, got a little timber in it. I mean, a legitimate seven pounder. Gosh dang it. Oh, it stinks so bad. Nice, slow rhythm. I mean, it can happen. It's gonna happen if it's happened. You just kind of let it come to you. You can't let it, you don't try to force it. Like this spot looks just like a spot on Rayburn where I'd lit them up one time, like right in the evening like this. I need to rig up, I need to rig up a, a trick worm. Cause I think some timber around the corner I can go. You got uh, 23 minutes. 23 minutes. Well, let's go back out here and get in the rest stuff. I just don't think we're gonna catch one out here in this. Maybe a pound. One pound, two ounces. Hey, Edwin caught a one, two. He's one pound, 14 ounces behind All you. Right. Mind to win or mind to lose right now, so you just gotta, gotta make it happen, you know. Big it. Two pounds, fifteen ounces. Two fifteen. What bothers me is I know they have to be in the trees because there's nothing else for them to live on. Man, that's fun. Dang it, I could have, I feel like I could have done better today. It's all about how quick you catch on. Uh, back over that other arm, there's three boat ramps I haven't fished yet. There he is. Golly, boy, you hit it like a freight train. I mean, hit it like a freight truck. Two pounds, two ounces. Two, 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 two. Double up. Good move. Thank you, sir. I mean, hit it like a, golly, that's the hardest bite I've had all day. Even Brian's caught another fish, weighed two pounds, two ounces. You're now four pounds, zero ounces back. We're about to go. Five minutes. Just get one or two of them to bite. And you would think, Catching those fish on a shaky head here with the wind blowing in, I can catch a few more. Oh, missed him. Dang. Dang, dang, good boy, too. Come on, baby, come back and hit that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Don't jack it up. Four pounds, four ounces. Whew. That's the way we do it right there. Wow. Yes, thank you, Lord. That fish hit once, man. Yes. That's fine. Stephen Browning just got mm. another fish. Weighed four pounds, four ounces. That might have put the nail in the coffin right there. Ah, right, he's got it. He caught a 4-4. Four, four. Dang. Browning's fixing the winning one. Wow. Congratulations, Steven. And I know I shouldn't have slung that thing over the side of the boat. Sometimes you just do crazy things. Bass make you do lose your dang mind, man. Wind really messed me up. It just got everything muddy. You know, it got everything really muddy. Oh, messed everything up for everybody else. Five, four, three, two, one. Lines out <laughs> in the championship round. Congratulations, you're the champion. I don't, man, it's one of them deals. I just, no, I don't trust it. I like to hear it, but I don't trust it. Man, congratulations, Stephen. I'm happy for you, brother. Uh, great, great job. Way to finish strong, catch him last two. Absolutely, uh, hats off to Browning and those guys that caught him. I mean, it was really tough for the rest of us, but some of them figured it out. 
you know, when you have a tournament like this, when you when you get close, it just makes you that much more hungry, you know, to to get out and do good again. That's what it's all about. Never quit. Fished to the last minute, and uh, you know, enjoyed ourselves. Had a great day. It's been awesome. My first cup. It's been a blast. We've had a great year. Me and this little dude right here, St. Croix, medium, heavy, moderate, fast, sweeping spinnerbait rod. The loose pro TI, if I'm throwing real big line, 20, 16, 20, I throw it on the tournament pro. If I'm throwing 14, I throw it on this little pro TI. Stephen Browning, dude, congratulations. It couldn't happen to a better man. You're awesome. We got on them quick, and uh, we rode this old horse, and uh, I'm pretty sure we done won us a big cup event, guys. That was fun. I mean, that was fun. General Tire's Major League Fishing is brought to you by General Tire. Delivers. Six Sour. Never Settle. Abu Garcia. Fish to Win. Powered by Optima Batteries. And by Barbasol Shaving Cream and Razors. A close, comfortable shave for the past 100 years. 24 Major League Fishing pros qualified through the Bass Pro Tour to compete in Dallas, Texas for the Builders First Source Patriot Cup. Come on up in here! Eight anglers battled through the elimination and sudden death rounds to earn their chance to become a champion. I thought you make ground up in a hurry right there. The final eight anglers were greeted with a curveball as they searched for a starting spot on a lake that none of them had ever thrown a lure in. Two anglers proved to be quick studies on Levon Lake and jumped out with an early lead in period one. Get up in here. Might be a bunch of them on that dude. Stephen Browning dialed into the standing timber while Edwin Evers pulled in four pounders off the boat ramps. Whew. Both anglers controlled the top of the score tracker for all three yes. periods, but the timber pattern proved to be superior. Mm -hmm. Golly boy, you hit it like a freight train. After a four fish flurry, Stephen Browning took a commanding lead and stamped his Patriot Cup victory with a four pound, four ounce hammer. Whew. That's why we do it right there. Wow. Let's check in with the champion to see the baits he used to win his first Patriot Cup title in today's Bass Pro Shops. End of the line. Hey, gang, Stephen Browning, 2022 Patriot Cup winner, and this is the bait that put them all in the boot. 3 8 ounce bladed jig, little straight tail trailer on it. The big thing is that I was fishing super, super shallow water. Anytime that I can have this bait in my hand and I can get the fish to react to it, I've got a lot of confidence. And now, I am the 2022 Patriot Cup champion. <laughs> Here are the final results of the championship round. With 44 pounds and five ounces, Stephen Browning has earned the win as the 2022 Patriot Cup champion. LaVon Lake did not disappoint as we saw numerous four pounders at the score tracker. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, I better lose my drag. I am retied. The Berkeley Big Bass of the day goes to John Cox, who put the Fritz side to work and landed a 415 in his first appearance in a championship cup event. <laughs> oh my God, look at that one there. Look at that. Today's Barbasol close shave goes to Skeet Reese. After starting period two with only one scorable bass, Skeet started landing quality and surged up the score tracker to finish today's round in third place. <laughs> I love it. Let's send it over to Marty Stone, who's with the Patriot Cup champion, the Puma, Stephen Browning. It's hard enough to win a round against this group, and you know that. You won the elimination round, you win your sudden death round, and now you win championship round. What does this mean to you? Boy, I tell you, uh, look, at the, look at the goosebumps on my arm. That's what it means to me, man. It, uh, you know, it, it, it was a battle. I knew it was gonna be one. And I was just thinking to myself, don't get off your game plan. Fish your strengths, fish slow, fish thorough, make multiple casts, everything you got in front of you, and just let it come to you instead of trying to push it. And it worked out just perfect. 
That second period, Edwin was making a big run, and you catch two at the closing moments of that period. And then at the beginning of the third period, I watch you lose a good fish, and then you put together three back to back. How do you keep it together in those moments? The deal was he was gone, you know? I rushed him. Every fish that I've had, I, I've been bringing them over the side of the boat. Only one did I reach down there and get him. The fish bit good, and I thought, he's got it. Let's get him in, let's get another one, you know? And I just rushed him just a little bit, but sometimes you just lose him. And I didn't want that fish to determine the outcome of the rest of my day. So just kept my head down and went fishing. Stephen Brown in Taking Care of Business in Texas. He's your 2022 Patriot Cup champion. This concludes the Builder's First Source Patriot Cup Championship, presented by Guaranteed Rate from Dallas, Texas. Until the next MLF event, thanks for watching General Tire's Major League Fishing.